I've no wish to quarrel with you, Finch, but speaking as a representative of Her Majesty's Armed Forces, I take them as oh, particular you want me to tell you something? What? You want me to tell you something? As far as I'm concerned, the whole British race is practically finished. If it hadn't been for Lend-Lease, if we hadn't kept your whole country afloat by giving you billions that you never even said thank you for, the whole phony outfit would be sunk right under the Atlantic years ago. Hey, what are you stopping for? Get out of this machine. Get out? I, I can't. You're crazy. It's I, my machine. I'll do as I bloody well please. Well, no, out. I, I'm awfully sorry. Uh, I, you know, I've been very edgy today, and if I've said anything about England, I apologize. Glad to hear you say so. I must say, if I have the grievous misfortune to be a citizen of this benighted country, I should be the most hesitant in offering any criticism whatever of any other. Wait a minute. Are you knocking this country? Are you saying something against America? Against it? I should be positively astounded to hear of anything that we said for it. Why, the whole bloody place is the most unspeakable matriarchy in the whole history of civilization. Look at yourself and the way your wife and her strumpet of a mother push you through the hoop. As far as I can see, America men have been totally emasculated. They're like slaves. They die like flies from coronary thrombosis while their women sit under hair dryers eating chocolates and arranging for every second Tuesday to be some sort of Mother's Day. And this positively infantile preoccupation with bosoms. In all my time in this wretched, godforsaken country, the one thing that has appalled me most of all is this preposterous preoccupation with bosoms. Don't you realize that they've become the dominant theme in American culture? In literature, advertising, in all fields of entertainment, in everything. I'll wager you anything you like. If American women stopped wearing brassieres, your whole national economy would collapse overnight. <laughs> <laughs>